but I've got a, a dear friend of mine, the head teacher of Ballet Tavine. So I, I, I think it is, but the hair's saying, Adrian, what have you done? What are you doing? Is this a lockdown look? Lockdown, the hairdresser's closed, yes. <laughs> okay, it's been tough, I, I, I think, for everyone, but for you guys right at the top, I mean, you have been a hub school, haven't you? Yes. Doing this whole thing. Let's start with that. What, what does that mean? How did it work? Challenges? Uh, we started off with about 10 students in of key workers. It was really important to do that job. I have to say the staff were overwhelmingly positive because it was scary. You were coming in, you were working with children and you were worried about, am I at personal risk? Yeah. Um, now, today, we've still got 50 children in and of course next Monday we'll have the whole school back, I hope. I'm very much looking forward to that. Right, well, being that you're still open and we had this two metre rule and all the other things that went with it, how did you operate here? Did you have to have all the tape down? Do you have, you know, everyone with masks? What happened? We, we had masks available for staff if they wanted it. They didn't use, use them. The difficulty with students is social distancing meant nothing for them. And inevitably, miss, miss, come and have a look at this piece of work. Yeah. And they'd be leaning in close and we were having to step back. The students have been absolutely fantastic, Paul. And, and if you want to take a walk down and mm -hmm. see our students working this afternoon, sure. uh, it, it, it's just lovely to see. It's, it has been really strange. A school without students in is just a building. Um, and I don't like walking empty corridors and wondering how my students are doing outside of school. You are concerned about them. You're concerned about the vulnerable. You're concerned about the lockdown facilities. You're concerned about how they're understanding the work that we're setting for them because there is no substitute for a teacher and that professional interaction that you have. Mm. Um, my teachers have been in this week. It's been amazing that we've actually had the time to plan. We're so ready for our students to come back on Monday. I'm very excited about it as well. So just take me through a classroom with this two metre thing. Normally you'd have X amount of people in, you'd only have Y. Um, yeah, in was, it like, was it, it like that? 95 year old building uh, there would have been some classrooms we only have had six children in so we were looking at part-time school for children so the idea for example would be year 10 would be in for English maths and science in the morning they would then do perhaps the ch subjects that they have opted to do like design technology um, and drama and music in the afternoon but they wouldn't have been getting full-time education so it's a really good thing that the social distancing right. measure has gone now you got your glasses here because you got some stats. Oh, what? I've remembered them. Oh, right. What other stats? Ooh, um, it was so the online engagements. I've, I've only got them for Key Stage 3. We yeah. were very happy with Key Stage 4. Because Explain obviously this. Key Stage 4 are our examination groups, mm -hmm. so it's year, year 10 mainly. And obviously, um, they know that they're working towards GCSE, so they were very focused. If you're a little 11-year-old child and you're at home and you're looking at a computer screen without the help of your teacher, we were worried about how much interaction we would get from our students. In Key Stage 3, which are years 7, 8 and 9, 11, 12 and 13 year olds, it's never been less than 94% engagement. I'm not saying students are engaged in every subject, because if it was me, I'd be doing lots of reading and lots of English and I mightn't have bothered quite so much about the science. The view I took here as a school, as long as our teachers are engaging with our students in some form, that was brilliant. Mm. And we've also had uh, our tutors um, have been ringing home or contacting students every week just to say, how are you? Our listening service has continued throughout, so students have been able to make appointments and speak if they've had uh, concerns. But I'll be honest with you, until our students come back, we won't really know what it's been like for them. Are they all coming back? Do you know how it's going to work? Because it is voluntary, isn't it? I very much hope that everyone will come back. I, I've heard anecdotally maybe six or seven parents are a little bit worried because their students, their children have medical issues. Yeah. But I'm hoping that students will can recognise the value of education. If you think about a, a child, School, yes, they come here to learn, but this is where they meet their friends. This mm. is where they get a sense of self-worth. This is where they have the opportunity um, to meet with others, to explore what it is to be a child with friends. And all that's gone. Our, some of our students have been in lockdown for a long time, not seeing anyone. And when they come back to school, we're going to have to make sure that they can build positive relationships with each other mm -hmm. and also with their teachers as well. I am very much hoping that it will be business as usual on Monday, but we have built in for the first part of the day some tutorial time where we will be exploring what was it like for you in lockdown? Mm -hmm. And I have to be aware that there might be a little bit of bravado, yeah it was great, loved it, didn't have to be at school, but we as teachers have to dig beyond that and we've still got choices that we want you to make. We want you still to be aspirational and I'm very concerned that there may be some students who think 
what's the point? I've been out of school for three months. I hope not. But that's got to be there. We've, Bound we've to. got to factor in that. I mean, here now, the sanitizers and, and cleaning their hands. I'm just trying to think of all the things that you're going to take people's temperatures, you're going to wear masks or anything at all. We've got masks. We've, we, we, we had an incident this morning where a child has come in with a high temperature, ah. which was a perfect trial for us, not, not good yeah. for the child, yeah. just to say, OK, what are our procedures? What do you do when a child says, I've And got how do you get that? Did you do have a test? Yeah. yeah, we had a temperature. Does everyone get tested or just people who don't feel well? Or just what? people who don't feel well. We did a trial with our... 12 year 12 students coming in um, and we we had one of those zap um, thermometers where everyone came in we pointed at them everyone we said it was voluntary every member of staff every student said no please take my temperature and they were very reassured by that but of course now we're back to the new normal so if they if they're unwell immediately is it 14 day suspension not that's the wrong word suspension <laughs> um isolation <laughs> makes them sound like they've been done something bad but you know seriously uh, it, it, needs, that be it needs to be go home and it needs to be track and trace here yeah. and we've got everything ready should that happen and how do you feel and your staff because there's been a bit of i know the union's not your necessarily but um, there has been a bit of problems between management and, and staff is everything okay yeah, I have a fantastic staff. I'll be honest with you, with remote learning, we were set up for our A-level students and our GCSE students. It was a lot of work online. There wasn't for Key Stage 3, but when we saw how things were going, I said to my staff, we need to be prepared for this, and they were absolutely magnificent. They really pulled out all the stops to get as much work as possible online. And we've all learned as we've been going along. Right. Teachers come into the profession to work with children, to give them life opportunities, to make a difference, and that hasn't stopped at all throughout the lockdown. Okay. Finally, you can use that camera message to your students for Monday. I can't before. wait for you to come back. We're here. It'll be business as usual. It'll still be Chip Friday. We might throw cheese in. Ooh. Can't wait to see you. <laughs>